What's up everybody, my name is Brian, and you are watching 7 Days to Brian. Alright, well we're having a rainy day here. Kind of miserable if you think about it. Um, Wrecked over there has taught me a little bit about sustainable living and I've set up a little uh, garden here. As, uh, if I'm going to be camping out here for too long I should be getting some of my own food going. It looks like the sun might be starting to come out. Rain should be clearing up soon here. Um, I'm going to head out. I've got a job to do. There's a house nearby that Rex says I should uh, be checking out. So let's go over there. So I gotta be honest with you folks, the Rex has turned out to be a pretty crotchety old man. Really unpleasant to deal with sometimes, but he's still full of good tips. I'm gonna try to continue this uh, relationship with him and... Whoa. I'm gonna try to keep going on the jobs that he sends me on and... Just uh, try to deal with this difficult personality and make the best of it. Stop right there. What are you doing? Come no further, sir. Come no further. I warned you. Here we are at the house. Um, Supposedly a known local drug den. Sir! Sir, do you know anything about the people who live here? Hey. Hey, I don't like the look of you. Back off, sir. Back off. I warned you. Sure enough, an unregistered vehicle sitting in the driveway here. Never a good sign. Back off, ma'am. Well, it looks like the rain came back. I'm pretty sure I cleared out all of the uh, druggies in this particular dwelling. I'm going to continue going through the evidence for a few more minutes. If you got money, I guess I can stand your smell. Oh, come on, dude. I don't smell that bad. Do I? Alright, so the next place I'm headed to is uh, a local pharmacy that appears to be doing some under-the-table business. We'll get that straightened out right away. I picked up this uh, nice little silencer for my pistol. We'll see how well that works. Nice. That's pretty good. I like it. So here we are at the local uh, Pop and Pills Pharmacy. Everybody come out with your hands up.
We'll have cleared out some of the local scum here. Hopefully they won't be dealing any more of that bad medicine out of this particular pharmacy. Nice thing about this particular drug raid is um, in taking evidence I was able to come away with a lot of first aid supplies that I'll actually be able to use to my own uh, personal gain. Not that I would normally be taking personal gain from the job here, but uh, given the circumstances, the way the world is these days, I have to do what I have to do to survive this situation, and um, yeah. So I took the first aid supplies from the pharmacy because I'm going to need them in order to keep fighting crime. That's what this city needs to get back on its feet. Smells like dysentery. I don't know what you're talking about, Rex. I don't have dysentery. Well, I guess I'm going to have to pay you now that you did it. I'll take those taser electrodes, thanks. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. Oh, I won't. Yeah, that guy's rude. Rex told me about another trader that's about uh, three kilometers to the south. So I'm going to head out to the south here and see if I can come across Trader Bob in my travels. Uh, maybe he'll be nicer than Trader Wrecked. Couldn't possibly be any worse anyway. Hopefully it's not a trap. Wrecked has been good to me so far even though he's kind of an asshole, so I'm going to have to trust him on this one. Well, I'm in rough shape now. I've managed to uh, injure my leg. I believe I may have contracted mild uh, infection here, but I did find the trader compound that Rex told me about. Supposedly, this place belongs to a guy named Bob. Oh gosh, the leg really hurts. What do you see, friend? I was able to grab a splint from uh, the trader. That should help with the leg here. Hey! Cut it out, you guys. You folks need to leave Trader Bob alone. Well, I guess I'm going to rest up here for the night. And then uh, journey back home in the morning. See if Trader Rect has anything else for me to do at that point. But, uh, yeah, for now, I'm just gonna bed down here and hang out with my new friend Bob. See you folks next time.